there are three chromophores involved in photothermolysis of a surgical laser. The melanin pigment in the skin and hair follicles. The hemoglobin in capillaries and blood vessels. And the water chromophore in blood vessels and every cell in the body. Each chromophore has a coefficient of absorption that varies according to the wavelength of the laser. It means, one type of wavelength targets one chromophore better than another, which in turn influences the intensity of cell vaporization, and the clinical result. This is a graph that represents the coefficient of absorption of the main chromophores depending on the wavelengths. The coefficient of water is steady with low absorption in the whole visible spectrum. Then the coefficient starts to rise in the near-infrared wavelengths between 900 nanometers and 1000 nanometers. Its maximum is in the far infrared spectrum such as 10,000 nanometers. Whereas its minimum is a blue wavelength at 445 nanometers. The coefficient of melanin and hemoglobin are the opposite. It is much higher in the visible spectrum and decrease in the infrared wavelengths. Most surgical lasers target the water chromophore with near or far infrared wavelengths where more photons are absorbed by water to reach cell vaporization more easily. Blue surgical lasers with blue wavelength 445 nanometers, however, target the hemoglobin pigment in capillaries to reach indirect cell vaporization.